when I hang out with my friends outside of school, we kind of just talk about whatever's going on in our lives. So we kind of all share in those feelings and we can help each other through it. I remember the exact moment when I was told that we would have two weeks off during about three quarters of the way through freshman year. I was in my modern world history class and the irony is ever prevalent. During the COVID-19 pandemic, it was a bit of a struggle, so I think that it taught me perseverance. I think that this made me stronger as a person because I was able to spend so much time by myself reflecting on who I was as a person and who I wanted to be. It made me think a lot about like how, uh, how I'm gonna be like when I grow up and uh, made me help make decisions that I needed to make. COVID-19 definitely made me more independent as a student and more self-reliant. Even though like I might have a setback, especially not having like human interaction, I still need to like push forward. Being at home reminded me of how valuable it was to come to school every day and how valuable my education was. I think it made me look at education in a completely different way. Everybody like dreads going to school, but it's a lot better going to school than being online. Extracurricular activities were kind of difficult to do. Which really made me learn how much I loved those things and um, how much I wanted to work for them. It taught me to be prepared and to uh, not take for granted. Having to go through high school is hard enough, but then having the obstacle of wearing masks and having to social distance. It was really difficult to be away from friends and classmates and teachers during that time. I had to learn to be a little bit stronger on my own and not need like people around me at all times. I came back wanting to talk to people even more and made more friends than ever. When me and my friends hang out outside of school, we kind of just talk about whatever is going on in our lives. We're usually talking about our careers. Getting jobs for the summer has been a big thing. How our work day's been what places we could work at in Connecticut or other states. But we also try to talk about, you know, some relevant things going on. Sometimes we talk about the news. Or things that we find that we don't like about society or things that could be better. We're talking about very nerdy things like Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons, uh, movies, TV shows we like. Sci-fi movies or books or fantasy books. And we also just plan hangout time and just have fun together. What are we going to do after school? What, what are the plans for Friday nights? Because we do like to go fishing a lot. What we want to do when we're older, places that we want to go right now. We want to do a road trip down to Florida, like uh, one last big thing before uh, we all go our separate ways. I would say the accomplishment that I'm most proud of is just making it through high school with good grades. And the fact that I'm graduating in like a month or so. It took a lot to get here. The accomplishment I'm most proud of is getting into my dream college. So I got into Harvard University. My teacher, Miss St. Germain, this year was awarded principal of the year. And at the Board of Ed meeting, I was asked by my associate principal to speak about her. It's all of the little growth that I've had in my many different areas. Being stage manager for uh, the musicals and plays here. Definitely taking these college courses. Picking a tech school. I did a research internship last year at Russell Park Cancer Center. I am a distinguished expert uh, rifleman in the Quaker Hill Rod and Gun Club. Being selected as a head ambassador this year. Being nominated for student of the year. The MLK Scholarship Trust Fund that I won recently. Being able to go to college because of being and my academics is just like it's really a blessing. Throughout my school career, I've worked with one special needs girl very specifically, and recently her family asked if I would walk with her at graduation. The fact that school's ending is kind of a little bit scary because we're moving on to college and like living on our own and stuff. So it's like, oh, we're gonna have long distance calls. Make sure you stay up on your work. Like college life is going to be so fun. Right now we talk a lot about colleges and what we're gonna be doing after high school and where we're going to be going and if we ever see each other again.